What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another training guide. And this time we are taking a look at Fabio Cannavaro, one of the best center backs in the game. Yes, he has a couple of downsides to him, and that's not a that's not a, a pun. But yeah, he is a bit small as a center back, right? That's the biggest problem. But in this ultimate guide, we do have two extremely good versions of him. The only thing I do see about his player skills here is that he is missing interception, but he does have blockers. So this is kind of a more aggressive center back than you might be used to playing with, that you have to be very careful how you play with him because he is a destroyer. He does have unwavering form. He does have a B rating. It's the Napoli version of him. I like the fact that he has man marking and sliding tackle, but he can play left or right back as a registered you know, position that's going to maintain every single stat that he has. He is a center back true and foremost or foremost and true, whatever way that phrase is. But anyway, look, fighting spirit, acrobatic clearance, man marking, blocker, sliding tackle and captaincy, and then his defensive stats are good off the rip, right? He is 176 centimeters, which is a little bit short for a center back, but he does go 27 levels. So we have two different versions of Cannavaro. This is from the 94-95 season, so he had yet to come into his own, um, you know, his, his beastly kind of uh, performances that followed after this. I do think that the, the lack of height in this guy means you do have to shield him a little bit, and you need to have him beside two different types of centre-backs. You can only play him in certain positions unless you're playing an opponent that doesn't really attack in the air, right? A lot of the gameplay that is in V2.5 at the moment is all on the ground. Quick touches, you know, one-touch passing a lot of intricate, you know, triangles and stuff, and Cannavaro has got excellent speed and versatility and, you know, defensive capabilities to be able to combat what the meta is at the moment, right? So we're going to go over to eFootballDB.com here a second, and we're going to take a look at the first build of him, right? So this is a very, very specific build, um, because I don't think that you need to really build him this way if you're looking to get the best out of him, right? But if you are struggling um, and you like to play a 3-5-2, I think that this version of him is is actually quite insane when you look at the stats, right? Because of the way that the acceleration works now with the defenders, you don't really need to have a right back or a left back that has got like higher than 80 acceleration. You'll still be able to catch the fastest wingers. You'll still not be left for dead against Mbappe or Neymar out in the wing or Maximin or whoever you decide to come up against or whatever your opponent decides to use, right? So this card is a more attack-based Cannavaro that we're going to have mainly focused on his speed, like his speed and his mobility and his versatility, while still having, you know, the blocker and the man-marking player skills to come in and do a lot of the defending for you, right? So this attacking-based version of him, we're going to throw one into passing, five into dribbling. We want to get that tight possession and dribbling close to 60 and 70. It could go a little bit higher if we want to, but I genuinely think having the dexterity and the lower body strength um, boosted up so that you get speed and acceleration over 80 is key to this card because you're not going to be bringing the ball forward with him, but you do want to have that acceleration a little bit better. The main thing with upgrading the lower body strength is to get the stamina up for the role he's going to be playing, and the main thing with upgrading the dexterity is to get his balance up, right? So you're going to get that up to 74, 75, depending on on how you train him right three into aerial strength and then nine into defending right so as i said this card i don't really recommend this unless you're a very very good defender okay um this is kind of like how i would play him right so you're playing a 3-5-2 you've got two really dominant center backs in ruben diaz and delict or whoever insert whoever you want there you've got excellent cover in makalele and Vieira, or whoever you want there as well two kind of either box to box destroyers or else slash anchorman and then you've got Zhao Cancelo on the right flank or else somebody like Cafu. That's a defensive build. If you haven't checked out that version of Cafu, check that out. So all you're going to be doing here is we have switched Marquinhos with Cannavaro, right? So this is where Marquinhos was in one of this guy's team. This is one of the best players in the world squad. And we've just put in Cannavaro in here and he would be able to slot in and do a role here because he's going to get the cover from Vieira. He's going to get the cover from Cancelo and he's going to be able to just play out a little bit from the back, right? But as I said... That's a very specialized uh, position that you would be playing Cannavaro in. Um, it's just that he is so insanely good defensively and his player AI is that you could make a room, room for him in that squad, right? The second option would be this, is a pure defensive build. 14 into defending, 6 into dexterity and aerial strength just to get that uh, jump up to 85 and the acceleration up to 80. And then we're going to have a couple into lower body strength as well to get that stamina up to 81, right? No matter what way you look at it, you're not going to be able to get Cannavaro as an all-around center back. Like, he doesn't have the height, for one, so you're not going to be able to overcompensate for that. He does have high jump, and he does also have 
um, a sliding tackle, which means that you can defend a little bit more kamikaze than I would recommend. But look at these defensive stats, lads. 97 defensive engagement, which on a perfectly uh, up good arrow, you're going to go to 99. You're going to have defensive awareness, 95, potentially going to 97. Tackling going to 92, potentially. And all the defensive stats are over 90. But you still have that 80 acceleration, 85 jump, and 81 stamina. So while he is small, I definitely wouldn't discount that just straight away because a lot of the gameplay is played on the ground. Yes, you will come up against somebody and get absolutely bullied, um, you know, but how often is that going to happen? So that is the two player get builds for Canavara, lads. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll be back soon.